iOS offers a lot of building blocks your apps can use in the forms of frameworks or kits. You've already been working with one of these, UIKit, which controls all of the user interface controls you've been working with, like buttons, labels, and sliders. UIKit also manages view controllers and generally anything else that affects the app's user interface. That's what the UI and UIKit stands for, by the way, user interface. Any object you're working with in iOS that starts with UI, like UI button, comes from UIKit. When you're writing iOS apps, UIKit is probably the framework you'll spend the most time with. And that leads me to our next challenge. Your challenge is to pause the video and get some practice with UIKit by adding the rest of the controls into the app to build the basic user interface for Bullseye. Specifically, your goal is to make Bullseye look like this. Let's review what you need to do to do this. The first thing you need to do is open main.storyboard and make sure the utilities panel is open and down here in the object library, the third tab, you wanna drag in all the different types of controls you need for your app. You're gonna need some labels, you're gonna need some buttons, you're gonna need a slider. All of these controls, by the way, are also known as views. That's why you see that they're all contained within a parent view and that's why the view controller is called a view controller because it controls the views. Now, the layout you're trying to create, again, looks like this. And what I've done here is I've annotated this for you to show you what each of these types are. For example, this is a label. There's lots of labels actually all over the place, a couple buttons and the slider. Now, as you lay this out, yours may look slightly different than mine. That's totally okay. Once you've laid out this screen, you're gonna want to tweak some settings in the attributes inspector. So there's all these inspectors up here that let you configure different things about the label. For example, here I can change the color of the label to a different color if I want to. Finally, there's a few hints here. This button down here that looks like an I is actually a special case configuration of a button. If you go to the attributes inspector and change this, there's a couple different options here, including info light and info dark. So obviously we want info light for that button. Also, you can use the attributes inspector to change the values for the slider. What you're looking for for that is the minimum value for this app is gonna be one, the maximum is gonna be 100, and the current value is gonna be 50. When you're done, you should have 12 user interface elements on the screen. You should have one slider, three buttons, and a whole lot of labels. Good luck. Okay, first thing is I have the main.storyboard open and I'm gonna use this panel over here to hide the navigator just to give me a little more space to work with. And now I'm just gonna start dragging things from the object inspector over, starting with a label up the top, which will label put the bull's eye as close as you can to. and I'll use command equals to size that to be just right, and I'll place it about where it was on the design. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a whole bunch of more labels. I'm gonna speed up the video because it's pretty repetitive at this point. Next, we'll add the slider. Using the attributes inspector, I'll set the current value to 50, the minimum to one, and the maximum to 100. Now we need to add two buttons. Set one to read start over. And selecting the second one, we'll change the type to info light. Now I'll slightly rearrange this to better match the design. Let's try this out. Let's set the simulator to iPhone SE and build and run. And check it out. We have the basic user interface for the app. I can even drag the slider, tap the buttons. Nothing much happens yet, but we've got a great starting point. 